All right, in this portion of the, of the video, I'm going to show how you can add the Developers tab option in Microsoft Word. Now, your toolbar should look like this, where you have Home, Insert, Page Layout, References, Mailing, Review, View, Design, and Layout. Now, what you want to do is add the Developers tab. And in order to do that, all you do is on this toolbar, what's, what's known as the ribbon, you just got to right-click it with your mouse. You, you do a right-click, and you're going to get this menu that pops up. And on the menu, you're going to go and do Customize the Ribbon. Under Customize the Ribbon, you're going to have your main tabs. And you're going to scroll down and look for Developer. Right here, just go on and check mark that. And then go on and select OK. Now you have your Developers tab, which is going to give you access to the Macro Environment and Visual Basic Environment. And in this piece, this is where we're going to go on and work on setting up your ActiveX controls. For this video, I'm going to recommend that you do go to your macro security and go on and do enable all macros. Or you can do disable all macros with notification. And so what this is going to do is that any time you open up a Microsoft Word document that has macros, you'll be prompted if you want to enable macros in order to run the content that's within the survey. We're going to go ahead and proceed to the next video, which is showing you how to add the ActiveX controls, which is going to be like the checkboxes, the labels, and the button that's going to be used in, the, in this form, which is the, the clear survey button.